So here we are in the third video for Key Area 3. In the last video we had a look at the process of transcription, that is the copying of the DNA code by the messenger RNA molecule. And in this video we're going to look at translation. So we've scripted, in other words transcribed, the code on the DNA onto the mRNA molecule. So that's really our script, if you can think of it that way to help you to remember the term transcription. And in this, what we're going to do is we're going to translate that code now. So the mRNA travels out of the nucleus to the ribosome. And translation is the th synthesis of the protein following that code on the mRNA transcript. If you remember before for your structure for mRNA, it's made up of a sequence Sequences of three nucleotides. These are triplet bases called codons. And here they are here on our mRNA transcript. And each codon represents a code for one amino acid. And that amino acid is carried to the mRNA by tRNA. So here's another diagram of tRNA found in the cytoplasm. You remember before from your video at the very beginning, tRNA is folded due to complementary base pairing, which holds the tRNA in this three-dimensional form as the complementary base pairing occurs held together with hydrogen bonds. There is an attachment site for an amino acid at one end and at the other end there's this triplet of bases called the anticodon. Now what we've done here for the, this purpose is to use this here as representing the whole of this tRNA molecule just to make it a simplification of what the tRNA molecule looks like as we move on to have a look at the process of translation. Well, let's have a look at the process of translation. So here's our messenger mRNA transcript here and what happens is travels to the ribosome, it binds to the ribosome at an area which is with a codon which is called a start codon. And what happens is a tRNA molecule with an anticodon and with an amino acid attaches to the mRNA codon due to complementary base pairing. So here is our tRNA molecule here and it's travelled to here, complementary base pairing occurs, and this is a start codon for making the protein. Then what happens is another tRNA molecule attaches itself with an amino acid, a different amino acid this time here attached to the tRNA molecule, and it pairs with the next mRNA codon. And you'll see here a peptide bond forms between these two amino acids. Now the ribosome then moves the messenger RNA molecule along a codon and this tRNA molecule is discharged but the amino acid that is here is still attached by a peptide bond to this amino acid here and another tRNA molecule brings along another amino acid to the ribosome and another peptide bond is formed between these amino acids. So this process is repeated again and again and again until what happens is a stop codon is reached and then a release factor releases the polypeptide or the protein from the ribosome. So this is our polypeptide chain that's been formed here with the peptide bonds between the amino acids and this is our protein. So a brief overview of the process here. You've got in the nucleus You've got your DNA molecule and this is our code. 
the messenger RNA molecule is formed by copying that code in a process called transcription. And you remember that within this, there is the removal of the introns and the splicing together of the exons to form the mature transcript. That mature transcript then travels to the ribosome where translation takes place. And with that, the polypeptide is produced or the protein is produced. And in this slide here, I've just put a brief summary of the terms that have been used in this video. So you can pause this slide and take a note of these terms.